So, welcome back to my Dead Man's Challenge. Left it on a little bit of a cliffhanger last episode in that the observant among you probably would have noticed that I went to sleep for an hour and accidentally absentmindedly queued in seven. Nothing bad happened. We woke up. It was fine. It's late in the day. There's some bad weather going on out there and it's probably about to get really cold on us. But uh, that was almost a huge mistake. Just as I uh, hit go on that and hit stop on record, I realized what I'd done and had a little bit of a panic. Um, we are... Our birch bark tea that we uh, drank at some point really boosted our condition. It seems we are now at 105%. After being 77 on day 7, birch bark has definitely been a big boon. Um, looks cold and windy out there. I'm a little bit afraid of getting stuck in here. How much water do we have on us? Two and a half litres. We've got a few other pieces around. Um, I'm tempted to try and brave that weather, but I'll just poke the head out and see. No, that doesn't... It doesn't really look... Oh, it's actually... No, it's not warm at all. Alright, we're going to go back in here. I'll tell you what, we're going to grab that stick I can see because we are really low on the sticks if we get stuck in here. So yeah, nearly a massive mistake in that seven hour sleep. It was such an absent-minded thing to do. But, like I said, we definitely dodged a bullet on that one. It was minus four when we started to sleep, I think. Uh, and we we're only just getting warm by the fire with one piece of coal, so well, that was only going to go for an hour or two. Um, normally I try and read in a scenario like this, but I think we still just need to be able to get as much rest as possible. So I'm going to try sleep for two hours. Hopefully the wind will blow out. enough for us to make a move. That sounds plausible. It would be probably pretty good to get to the tower as our next port of call. We might have to sleep there tonight, but there's not much food between here and there. warm. Sticks and birch. We need those. So no idea how long this run will still, you know, go for. We're actually doing, I mean, you know, we've got 100%, 105% condition uh, feels a bit like cheating. We haven't used any stims yet. Uh, I think at some point I probably will double check what the things are with the settings, if a lot of them have changed and what would actually bring it back to the the traditional way that Dead Man is meant to run um, and I will probably try another one of those runs at a certain point um, having this much perch has definitely made it a lot more forgiving but you know we could walk straight out of this exit here and The wolves are still very dangerous. The food is still going to be an issue at some point. Really 
expecting to be barked at any day now through here. But it is not this day. like that fog to dry up. Don't think we can wait around too long, but need to get all the things I was going to use for for craft, uh, for forging perhaps. Keep that quality tools. Between that we've got a couple of extra pieces in case we don't find anything more. I think I'm gonna have to try and go in the fog. Oh that got way foggier. That ain't cool. might not be going anywhere. Don't think I should really chance it. Yeah, so now we have a wolf friend out there. Sometimes you actually un can see you through this part of the fence from over there and you get a little bit attracted to coming this direction. I hear him padding around down there. There he is. So either we got him before he decided to spawn back in this area. Hmm. Definitely not going anywhere in this fog. Well, I think we might go and try and do some repairs or something in the warm before we uh, run out of light. Then we get some extra warmth. Invest our current set of calories on that. How are we doing for cloth? Ten pieces. So that's okay. We need a couple for the things we want to make. So we need to make sure we don't overdo it. We need one piece of cloth each for those. And so we're going to need at least eight pieces of metal uh, to get those tools and then some arrowheads. Okay. The jeans are just about falling off us. hate repairing jeans. They just seem like such a waste, but think just to stop them being so terrible um, don't have any leather I think I can tear down some leather and now we get so and they go up to like two degrees or something like that. that's a lot of they're a long repair though I think like an hour and a half repair that's pretty huge um, these can go up to one degree, I think. They're very much worth repairing. It's only 30 minutes. So 
so that's cool. And that will give us a bit of warmth, extra warmth as well. Do we have any time? I'll try it. Although it says it's really dark here. Yeah, just the way out to the see what it's like outside. Okay, the fog is gone. Don't really much like our chances of getting past this wolf without an interaction. But it would be good to try and get to that tower. all the way over there. You see this from such a long way, you see that? really want to do is have him go that way and me go this way. We have one rock left. Kind of wasting temperature trying to think of a sneaky way to do this. Should really be a little bit more clever about this. Check if I see a second wolf. That's hard to see. I think I'm just going to have to try and leg it. footsteps. He's very close. There he is. That would have been a mistake. get you to be where I want you to be. Now I have no rocks especially. Ooh, for a second there I thought he was going to come in that door. I've never seen him do that. Hmm. Don't have a torch now either. Can I make a torch? Only if I tear down that other lamp. I don't think I'm going anywhere tonight. I think I've just wasted a bunch of time. Mm -hmm. There 
there's another new noise somewhere. turn around that direction or were there two apologies this is all being just a little bit weird everyone such good travel weather too. What I'm doing is chewing up calories and <sighs> making myself more and more confused. These walking patterns are very unusual. If I stand up now he'd actually see us and bark at us. Well, I think what I'm going to do is go inside, tear down that lamp, because we probably need one of them torn down anyway. Make ourselves a torch with the extra lamp oil we get. I think we're going to have to light a defensive fire in the morning to get past him. But we'll go in the morning. So I'll tear down the worst one. One hour. How are we off for calories while we do this? Should be okay. Eat anyway. So we got scrap metal, but we also should have got some lamp oil. Might actually tear down the toolkit now as well. Three for now. We only got the lamp for now. One. Oh, yep. Could probably repair another piece of clothing before we get tired. get us up to two degrees if we really got them going. I think that only gets up to half a degree or something. If that gets up to a full two. That takes two cloth. 45 minutes though. Uh, I'm going to try it. Well, Right, so the question is, are we going to roll the dice on trying to eat a tin of sardines? We can sleep it off. It's probably as healed as we're going to get. It'll take 10 hours to sleep it off. I think if I'm not going to do it now, I'm never going to eat them. So I might as well try. Roll the dice. Didn't get food poisoning. Excellent. 
These are good down to down twenty percent, but might as well eat them anyway. bother to try and read for an hour. And that's only going to get us up to there in the cooking anyway. I think I'm going to save the weight. And the cooking's coming along okay by itself. Fire starting without tinder would be pretty good. almost there by the time the end reset. We'll just read an hour of this. The aura will probably go and then we'll sleep for our seven. Take us to the warm part of the day. Alright. Sleep for seven. Actually seven, rather than me pretending it's going to be one and sleeping for seven. Didn't get really to the middle of the day, but we'll check what the weather is, if it's favourable. Cold in the wind, and it's windy, which means uh, starting a defensive fire in front of a wolf is going to be challenging. Might actually make. I'll tell you what, we're running a bit low on cloth, so we'll harvest a couple of these. I think there's a three for piece of cloth, or is it just a one for piece of cloth? Not six minutes though, so it's still okay. And there's a piece of cloth up there. that has a piece of cloth draping on it in here, is there? I'm trying to remember some other places I've seen the cloth drapery without having to go all the way downstairs. It's okay, so what does that take us to now? Six pieces. Oh, there's the weather doing now. Damn it, still not great. Looks like it's about to blizzard. This is the portion of the game where it's going to try and chew up all the calories we have just being sedentary. out there. So what does it think we're doing in the way of food? Cattails, 
that and that. So we definitely are bottoming out compared to what we were. Still feels like it's going to try and blizzard me in. Checking the lay of the land. So, unfriendly neighborhood wolf is still there. for a bit better break in the weather. Maybe even light a mag lens. Yeah, that's like a full blizzard coming in. Okay. Let's try and lock us in. because that will preserve the calories a bit more and get us some of the rest. Those will be exhausted by the time we end up anyway. So, two hours sleeping. It is high weather variability on Dead Man, which does actually mean things tend to blow over quicker. Doesn't sound great. Still super windy. Sound like a second blizzard about to kick off or it hadn't really ended. I'm actually gonna sleep this out again. Probably should have just done one rather than two. But it's snowing, so we get wet and cold fast. It still looks like it wants to have a blizzard resurgence. Let's go inside for a small amount of time. Um, really doesn't want to lock us in. I don't want to be stuck in here. Let's give it 15 minutes of doing something productive. Need to eat, need to eat, need to eat. friend there or is he gone? Still there. Where are you coming from buddy? Down there.
let me put this anywhere. Kind of want him to get drawn to this and get scared without attacking me. So it does require this fire to actually work well. wind to come up for these already. You don't want to come and be scared by my fire? Where'd you go? See what I wanted. Hopefully, he doesn't follow me. this a bit sooner than I normally would because I think the stalker level wolves get surprised from the guy over that side. Sounds like some track wolves. Our deer. There's one right there. I don't want to attract his attention at all. Two, in fact. go this way to get to the tower. Um, with the weather starting to be not so great. Normally I'd go up this hill. I might be checking these huts. To be as far as we get tonight. This has been a very short set of uh, short journey, short adventure. Okay, 
so we're running out of food. All the things I thought I'd built up in terms of being able to do a forge have been eaten into by not pushing on quick enough. Kind of been pushed off my line as well in terms of other food that I know about. So. Start a little fire here. Just as a way of saving the fire while we search those huts, not really not really for too much else. I might boil a little bit of water. Don't want to really want to waste too much fuel on it, so So not much in here for us. Plastic container, I did. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Coffee was okay. Secret candy bar, maybe. Behind you? No. Okay. So yeah, the food requirement in Dead Man really gets on top of you quick. Like you can look like you're really Got it completely under control. And you can disappear, all of your resources can disappear in about 24 hours. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, damn it. Five calories. I mean, there's still some more cattails in in Fall on Muskeg to try and acquire, but you know the world has to cooperate with you when you're doing that. In terms of giving you nice weather 
all that sort of thing. was an owl pot, that was one that was here. Um, might as well just Is that a rabbit? Did I just see a little rabbit head? I don't know if it was. Damn. It was wishful thinking, I think. I didn't think this was a rabbit spot. She's around here, but I haven't spotted them. calories, partly for the heat. It's kind of hoping this looks like it's calming down a little bit. I'd like to still try and make that tower. We can still sneak our way up to the tower. Get over that bit. I swear I always go this way. There we go. Now I go around this rock. Maybe.
bit of an ankle breaker kind of location. stuck here before in one of my other playthroughs trying to figure out how to get over this little lump. Alright, worked out okay. died on that little bit right there, coming down and meeting a wolf on a dead man run. Um, well, I think I lured him up here with a rabbit and he did not go away. He stayed there and I came down and walked around a corner and kind of got insta, insta rage attack. So, I mean, worry about pulling rabbits up there. bottoming out our food. So we got another hammer in here, so no hacksaw. Um, another survive the outdoors. But no food, sadly enough. Um, might just start that fire anyway. So we probably going to end up eating all of our cattails to get through this little bit. It's not really panic stations yet, but well, it's definitely not panic stations because we've got 105% condition. But, uh, our next few stops we need to try and eat. Um, as much as we can, try and catch some more rabbits again. Uh, I'm just gonna cut this lantern for a minute. Just to properly grab that. But oh painkillers, they'll be most welcome. Well, oh, it's very minimal in here. going, it should have just half a litre quickly eat a little bit cook up some more of these because we probably need them for we're going to need them for calories before too long mm, yeah that at the moment. Just did it so we could look around places. Still got some of these we can tear down. That'll be about the last of those that we can 
prepare. get through this little bit here and I think we'll um eat and sleep and call it a night and see what tomorrow brings and uh that'll pretty much be the end of the episode. Right. Ah oh, she'll keep you with me just until we get through making all this stuff. Just before we go to sleep. Again just so I'm not doing really too much off camera I don't really want to take any use any of the birch bark stuff while I'm already at full condition I think it's need to start saving them unless we run in, run out of calories and even then I'd probably let the calories drop just enough until we find more calories and then drink the birch bark to recover it maybe Sounds like a sensible-ish thing to do. Got one junk torch. Try to pull another decent torch out of there before we sleep as well. No other things we can prepare now. left. How many more? Still got two more of those we can cook and three more so we get 15 calories so there's still a few calories floating around that we've got. those going just uh, I don't really want to throw too much more at that won't be quite enough uh, I think I'm just going to burn the guns book should get that to thing done. I did want to pull another torch out of there. Let me do this first. Add that stick. See if I can take a decent torch. Yeah, it's a good torch. Traded in my 13% torch. That should just about do it. Alright, we're gonna eat a good half of our cattails. Uh, we'll sleep for seven hours and see you in the next episode.